Hello, welcome to the demo for InstaBuilder. This is definitely going to be more of a demo than a review because with the review I'd kind of be saying, you know, maybe I like it, maybe I don't. Here's things I don't like about it and that's not really going to be the case. And also I kind of only review stuff that I know I like in advance. And I had a chance to look over this before I even installed the plugin and I knew that this was exactly something that I was looking for and it looked like it did a bunch of the stuff that I was hoping it would do so it's not I don't really have anything negative to say about it I'll say that right off the bat um, I did come up with a couple of little bumps whenever I was going through it but it ended up being that I just didn't uh, I wasn't paying attention and I ended up figuring it out so I've gone through this um, I did get an advanced copy of it however I'm going to be purchasing it myself as soon as it goes live because um, whenever I, I am able to do a review like this it's just a one single copy you know I don't get access to, to updates or uh, upgrades you know whenever there's a new version that comes out or, or anything else anything else in the members area none of that stuff uh, you know if I need support I can't get it so I'm going to be waiting in line just like everybody else to pick up my very own copy of this as soon as the door is open. And uh, let's see, this is the page you're on right now. I'm just starting this page. I haven't done anything else to it. Everything so far on here has been done with the InstaBuilder plugin. Of course, I've got a couple of these other little little pop-up deals on here that have nothing to do with the plugin itself. And uh, and while I'm saying plugin, that's probably the best thing right now that's that's just cool is that there's if you've been paying attention to the stuff that that I've been recommending lately one of the biggest recommendations was sales press pro and that was an alternative to optimize press you know because optimize press has been a standard for a long time on on a you know creating sales pages and squeeze pages and having that functionality and it's only been optimized press. Yes, you can get profits thing. There's like there's maybe a couple other options out there, but optimized press was the gold standard. Then Sales Press Pro came along, and that was you know a breath of fresh air. It was a great theme, and and I love that, and I'm using that. But that's what's different about InstaBuilder, is that it's a plugin. So if you know you're going to have a site that is nothing but squeeze pages or sales pages then that's fine you can use optimize press sales press pro something like that but what's really cool about instabuilder being a plugin is say that you have a super premium theme you've got a theme that you picked out specifically because you're going to be using it for a blog and and you liked the way that the home page layout looked and all that well and then all of a sudden you decide you know what i want to do some promotions on here i want to do some some sales pages some squeeze pages uh, some video pages and the theme I'm using right now kinda won't let me do that it won't let me do it the way I want to well this is your solution you keep your themes you, you use this plugin and then you're gonna be able to get the best of both worlds you're gonna have that those high quality sales pages and squeeze pages and uh, and you're still gonna have the same look on your home page that you want and this is all I have on here right now like I said I just started doing this you got your little insta builder logo down here doesn't even say what theme I'm using because it doesn't matter what theme I'm using. This works on any theme. And uh, right now I'm using a, a YouTube layout. You can use a Flow Player with this or the JW Player. I one of the things I wanted to point, make sure I point out in this video is that even though like a, a Flow Player looks really slick, and if you guys saw the contest page before, it's over. Where to go? It's right here. This is the contest page that I sent out earlier. And uh, again, this this looks great. I love the backgrounds that you can pick on these, and you know, just a simple page. It looks great. It took a few minutes to do, but uh, right here, this one is using a flow player. But the only thing with that that a lot of people don't know that I've been preaching about for a while now is that it uh, it won't play on Android devices. Ever since Adobe Flash pulled out of of supporting Android devices if you go to pull this up on a on like your uh, Android phone this video is not gonna play so 
on a lot of the stuff I do, almost everything I do, and I wanted to show you the difference, you know, because obviously this player looks nice, it looks very slick. You're not going to have anybody clicking the YouTube logo, you know, to head off to YouTube or anything. They're going to stay right here on your page. But the fact is, is that if you use a YouTube video, which I'll show you that you can do this in the plugin too, then your videos are going to be 100% universal. They're going to play on any device, and I think that that's really important. It doesn't matter how amazing your squeezer sales page looks. If somebody's going and seeing the link, like say, say in a forum or on Facebook, and they happen to go to your page and they're using their phone and they can't see your video, you're losing part of your audience. So I just wanted to point that out for those of you who uh, who use video on your pages that. If you can use a player that lets you use a YouTube video, that's going to be HTML5 and it's going to play on anything. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look inside of the plugin. Here it is. This is uh, the page I'm doing now. And you can see I've got the regular WYSIWYG visual editor in view right here, and I haven't put anything on here yet. There's nothing on here, and I, and I don't need to because, like I said, it doesn't matter what theme you have and you're not touching any of these options and you're not over here touching any theme templates anything you're gonna go right under here and here's where instabuilder goes it goes right underneath your uh, your main your main area and you would just click this you would click turn this page into a landing page and then you've got all these cool little tabs right here that you can go through and pick what you want to do it always starts right here on the main one and then I'll click here you can see page types single column squeeze page mini squeeze um, video page product launch page and then whenever you click on those it'll show you different options down here um, page width you can totally pick what you want to do there page design these are the backgrounds lots of different looks to choose from oh whoops better put that back where I had it <laughs> and uh, page design color on any one of those those uh, page designs they will work with any of these these colors right here so it doesn't have to just be one color on that design now down here this is what's cool is that you have your own separate WYSIWYG editor for the plugin. So let's say I do want to use something else, you know. Yes, I can do a whole page with InstaBuilder and it's going to look great. But like, let's say if I wanted to add in a second video, then I could easily just click on right here. I've got the Traffic Player Video plugin. I could use that. I also have the WP Graphics plugin. I can use that to add additional plugins. I don't have to just be restricted to InstaBuilder. Or if I was wanting to just use InstaBuilder, I'd have plenty to work with. But it's you got you got full freedom here. Oh, and right here, you got the uh, InstaBuilder. You got lots of other choices in here for graphics and features. What was this one? Countdown, countdown timer, all that stuff. So. Then right here, top navigation, don't show menu, blah, blah, blah. You can click right here, one time offer. If you enable this feature, then this landing page can only be viewed once by your visitors. That's pretty cool. Custom background. If you wanted to not use what, they're, what they have already in the thing, you can just use your own custom background, custom header background. Or actually a custom body background yeah okay so I did not use that one yet but that should mean should mean right here in this white space that's the body so I don't play with that one yet but that's what that's saying custom body background custom header background there's logo display my logo on this pages header text bakes logo image base logo text logo I'm not using this any right any any of this right now because I'm using a the video squeeze page 
opt-in, auto responder code works with any of them that you can just slap in the uh, the HTML auto responder code. Subscribe method, form, or Facebook Connect. So it's got uh, the Facebook Connect features already built in. Opt-in form titles, text, form integration, single form, advanced form, name filled, email filled, button types. You can use your own image on those. You can use a pre-made button. Lots of buttons to choose from in here. A ton of them. What's next? Video. And here's what I was talking about with, uh, with being able to choose. I chose on this particular one, I did the uh, embed, iframe, or script. Or you can just choose hosted video, and that's what I did on the uh, that's what I did on the other one. So all I did on the other one, whenever I clicked that, it has a spot where you can drop your MP4 link, you know, say from uh, from Amazon S3. And then right here is the YouTube embed code, and I doctored that up a little bit. You can see I put in the code right here for a uh, no related videos at the end, and then the code for uh, autoplay. I like both those features and then you would put your video size okay comment social comment settings Facebook comments or discus customize the title color font size sharing all your regular social sharing options where you want that to be placed at exit redirect got your own exit pop-up on here viral download so you guys are familiar with that you know to where you're encouraging somebody if, if they share your page then uh, then you reward them and give them access to a download. That's always a very, very effective technique. Scripts. Anything you need to put in here? Google Analytics. Any other tracking codes? Anything that needs to go? Oh, the footer of the body. Mobile switcher. This is if you want to show different content for for mobile users. You could send mobile people to a completely different page if you wanted to. But the good thing is is that this plugin is responsive. Like I said, every, everything I do, any any plugin I touch, any theme I touch, anything like that, I immediately click my little uh I've got the extension on Chrome that's called Chrome the phone and it'll send any page that I'm working on at all it'll send it right to my phone because that's what I care about I wanna know how it's gonna look for for people on their cell phone tablets yeah you know tablets you know maybe some people are concerned about that but regular full pages without being a mobile version show up just fine on tablets I actually prefer full pages on my tablet instead of a mobile version but um, I, I want something to work on my phone and I want to be able to watch the videos and this is completely responsive so we covered all of these little tabs right here um, of course I could have went and shown you every single page let me uh, see was there anything else in here what are the set oh <laughs> split tests you can completely set up split tests on your pages too can't believe I almost forgot that one yeah if you were gonna if you were gonna add one right here see this look 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 this over real quick look at the settings on here pick two different pages you'll be able to get your link right here because you're gonna create the link 
and then uh, it's going to rotate right there split test that is awesome and then for the settings right here if you want to be an affiliate or you can completely disable the uh, powered by instant link thing at the bottom if you do want to use some of the Facebook functions of course you need to integrate it with Facebook with the app ID discus settings Twitter settings so I don't know about you guys but this had me really really excited it's something I'm gonna use a ton because I do have themes that are certain niche or affiliate themes that I'm already using a certain theme on but I would love to be able to throw up some squeeze or sales pages on them I've got sites that I'm also using uh, like a lot of the times you guys will uh, see like a promotion coming from savageshane.com I'm using optimized press on that optimized press has already been on there for a long time so I've got no reason to change it but I love the freedom with this uh, with this uh, Insta Builder, so I'm going to be able to um, use it on there as well. I've got sites that's already that are already using uh, Sales Press Pro. I'm just going to keep that theme there. But if I want to throw this on there because it has some different functions, I'm going to do that. Um, usually, uh, I won't I won't swap out a theme if the theme is working okay. But what's cool about this is that I won't ever have to. I can use any theme I want. Somebody could just get what is the uh, 20, 2010, 2011, whatever the basic uh, free WordPress theme is that comes on every single domain and uh, you know use this and you're gonna have a professional looking site so I know this uh, this video went really long but I wanted to point it out in my own words and walk you through it instead of just saying here here's a video from the uh, from the uh, product vendor I wanted to be able to put it in my own words and show you guys that I'm actually using the plugin. I've actually been going through it. Um, anytime I was coming up with any questions or concerns, I was getting in touch with Martin right away, Icoon, and letting him know, hey, you know, did you guys know about this or what about this? And I've been in touch with it. So I've taken the time to go through this plugin and try to break it and try to find bugs and everything for you to make sure it's a quality product. And it is. It's built very well and uh, like I said it's responsive and it's a plugin it's not a theme so it's it's got a ton of benefits if you're looking for total freedom on your websites and you don't want to have to always change out a theme instant builder is going to be for you okay so you've seen my video you saw the really professional video that's on the same page and uh, and then you can also look on this page for the bonuses and of course if you were seeing this ahead of time you had a chance to get in on the contest if you need anything else, I'm easy to track down. Uh, I'm got I'm on uh, Facebook. You can always hit me up there. Mr. Period Shane Williams or uh, Skype. Same thing. My Skype handle is Mr. Period Shane Williams. And uh, let me know if you need anything or if you have any questions. I'm always here for you guys. All right. Take care.